Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew. Welcome and glad you are here. On this channel, we like to talk about simple crypto passive income strategies that are implemented on blockchains with utility, use cases, and that solve business problems. If you like that type of content, subscribe here or follow me right over here at DeFi Divi on Twitter. As always, none of this is investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor. Please do your own research outside this channel. Let's get into it. Exciting news coming down my Twitter feed uh, late last week, and I wanted to cover this because some comments in this thread, uh, some YouTubers, I mean, some Twitter peeps reached out and asked me questions like, hey, could you do a video about why this is good? And so here's the tweet right here, and this is great news, and I'll talk about many levels of why this is good. Uh, and I quote, Flare has integrated its API portal on Google Cloud Marketplace, launching some of the first blockchain APIs in the platform. Developers can use the marketplace to easily access nodes on top of blockchains, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, XRP, and Flare. And then there's some good stuff in the thread. Uh, here's from Josh Edwards. Uh, and I quote, uh, working with Google Cloud team on this has been a pleasure. We all have worked really hard to make this happen. I hope all currently supported blockchain communities enjoy the new functionality. Very cool stuff. Great work. Yeah, so this is big news. And then here was the, uh, I, re I retweeted this with the word sweet and a little sun right there. And then some people wrote, uh, uh, DeFi Divi, we look forward to a YouTube expression on this. Wow, amazing news. Another uh, account on Twitter, uh, CappyPig10 wrote, can someone explain why this is so good? So yes, I'm happy to do that. First of all, a couple things. I, I am late to the party on Google Cloud Services and Google, everything Google. I remember hearing about Google App Engine a long time ago. But back when I started learning at cloud infrastructure, I just I felt like I, I should learn AWS. You know, all the startups out here where I'm at love AWS, you know, and back when I was doing startups and I thought, oh, knowing AWS would be best as an entrepreneur too, because that's what everyone launches on. And so AWS is super complicated. It is no joke. I mean, the thing is so complicated. There is an entire industry around getting certified for AWS, just specifically for AWS. And this entire industry built around the complexity of using AWS. So finally, so after this tweet and a couple other things, just tweets and this messages around just kept saying, Google Cloud, Google Cloud, took a look at this thing, whipped up just to, to play around. I whipped up this like robust, totally scalable Kubernetes infrastructure with database service and caching and uh, cloud CDNs distribution of the media files. I did this like in under three hours. Whereas on AWS, I'm like, okay, well, infrastructure is gonna probably take me at least a week. It blew me away. I'm like, why have I waited so long to check out Google Cloud services? So, I mean, it's not like an out of the box solution. You still gotta know your stuff, but so just really cool stuff. Really happy about uh, cloud services. I'm going to be using them in general. I'll probably move the uh, the Flare um, <clears throat> rich list script that I have over to it from AWS. I'm just moving off of AWS finally. Going to do all my stuff over there. But so Flare has put this uh, this API portal on the marketplace, and there's a number of reasons this is really good. Uh, and we'll go over them here. I actually wrote them down so I could not forget a lot of the good points. So we'll just go over each one, one by one. Uh, number one, greater visibility and reach. And I quote myself, by listing Flare's API on Google Cloud Marketplace, Flare can tap into Google's vast user base and increase their visibility among potential customers. This can help them attract new users and a growing number of pro, uh, projects. And so, and so how does this increase visibility? Well, let's take a look. Here's my dashboard. And let's say I was, I was looking for something related to Web3. This is my Google Cloud dashboard, by the way. And let's say I'm looking for something, oh, I should look up uh, you know, basically uh, some sort of Web3 API. And I type in Web3 here and I get back search results. If I scroll down, Look at what the number one marketplace is just by typing Web3 into the Google Cloud search bar, the Flare API portal. How cool is that? So that is going to reach a bunch of developers. And then I might look into this and I might see this API that says Web3 APIs for all of Flare's change, chains, explorers, and connected chains, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, and XRP. 
So, and then it talks about all the chains right here. So as a developer, I might think, wow, oh, here's an API where I can talk to all these chains, not have to worry about all this. And then there's, you know, the costs and all that right below, which we'll talk about next because that ties into the next bullet here. Uh, number two, and I quote, simplified billing and usage tracking. Offering an API through Google Cloud Marketplace allows Flare to take advantage of Google's billing and usage tracking infrastructure. Users can manage their API usage and billing through the same platform they use for other Google Cloud services, streamlining the process and making it more convenient. Yeah, so if I was to go sign up at Flare Developer Portal right now and pay over there, it's completely separate from Google billing, whereas here I can have all this run right through my Google Cloud platform. Right here, you can see I have a free trial with $400 left on it and 90 days to play around with this thing. I'm already sold on it, so. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so the, all the billing through the Flare portal will just show up right here. I don't have to worry about putting my card in some other place. So just seamless, less friction, easier to develop, easier to onboard developers. Uh, and I quote number three, integration with Google Cloud Services. By listing the API on the Google Cloud Marketplace, Flare can more easily enable seamless integration with other Google Cloud services, which can be beneficial for users who are already using Google Cloud for their infrastructure. This can help reduce friction associated with adopting a new API and improve the overall developer experience. Yeah, because right now, let's say, you know, like for the example, when I talked at the beginning of this video, I spun up a... Uh, a, a, a Kubernetes cluster on this thing. And so that was, that's, that was, I'm playing around with a Django app and that Django app might be used to talk to some of these APIs. Probably would do it with a front end instead of a Django server side app, but it could be. And in, in this case, it's already here in the Google cloud. So it's gonna be easier to interface with those apps than if I had to do it manually. Basically less friction again. Uh, number four, this is a good one, enhanced support and trust. So Google Cloud Marketplace has a rigorous review process for vendors and their offerings, which includes security and compliance checks by listing their API in the marketplace. Flare can demonstrate to potential developers and startups and customers that their APIs meet Google's standards for quality, security, and reliability. Uh, and then number five, easier deployment and management, which is kind of the same thing as integration with Google Cloud Services. It's just easier, it's pre-configured and easier to use. So you got more visibility, you got seamless integration, you got billing all baked right in there. So that is why this is a big win for Flare. And so I also looked into, uh, I was, oh yeah, I was looking up, I wanted to see if Hedera had stuff on here as well, another one of my favorite chains. And I came across this article from January, 2022. They are really awesome for Web3. I didn't realize how much was going on on Google Cloud. So like I said, I'm late to the party on this one. Uh, and I quote, what we're doing today and into the future, this is Google Cloud. Uh, blockchain and distributed ledger-based companies like Hedera, Theta, and Dapper Labs have already chosen to build on top of Google Cloud for scalability, flexibility, and security. Moving forward, Google Cloud's digital asset team will undertake a number of short and long-term initiatives to support companies in the digital asset blockchain ecosystem, including providing dedicated node hosting and RPC call nodes for developers, right? We just kind of went over some of that. Uh, participating in node validation and on-chain governance with select partners, helping developers use, helping developers and users host their nodes on the cleanest cloud in the industry. I mean, when I first saw that, I'm like, yeah, the documentation is so clean. This feels so easy to use, but they're talking about in a clean environment, which that's yeah, cool. I'm into that. I like hiking and going to the beach. Uh, okay, and I quote, supporting on-chain's governance uh, via participation from Google Cloud executives and senior engineers. Hosting, this one I thought was really cool. Hosting several big query data sets on our marketplace, including full blockchain transaction history for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Litecoin, Zcash, Theta, Hedera, and a bunch of others. So basically a lot of, uh, a lot of Web3 companies are building their infrastructure on Google Cloud as well. I mean, we don't want, all, want it all on Google Cloud. I mean, ideally we'd want a lot of this, some of this good percentage of it running on things like Flux, some on hardware servers. We still want some going to AWS. We want some on Google Cloud. We do want this decentralized as much as possible as well. But I will say this, I'm pretty much done with AWS. Sorry, AWS. Okay, everybody, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you can see why Flare's APR portal being listed in the Google Cloud Marketplace is very beneficial for Flare. This is going to 
hopefully do a lot of things and speed up adoption and remove friction from just hammering on these APIs and building really cool stuff. All right, I hope this video finds you well and I will see you in the next one.